Hi guys. I'm going to create another uh, restorative video today. So let me just set this up. Where's my nut? to the room and happy April's full day. All right, so come down to your mat and we're going to start off by doing some cat cow. So spread your fingers wide and have your elbows and your shoulders stacked directly over your hands. And inhale, arch your back, exhale round. Inhale, exhale, inhale. but still keep the fingers spread wide. Have your knees a little more than hip width, and you're just gonna go back and forth. Stretch the spine, stretch your hips towards your heels. When you're going forward, pull the core in. Okay, so that should be a little uh, looser now. Then walk your hands back, so they're right underneath your shoulders again. I'll bring them out a little bit wider, actually. And then we're gonna do some uh, knees, chest, and chin, it's called, right? So. You're going to hug your elbows. You can't start from back here, okay? Even if you are starting from back here, you're gonna lean forward. Then hug the elbows in. And look forward. And then you're going to press up into Cobra. And back. Forward. Elbows in, lower down. Don't let the elbows splay out. Takes a little bit to learn to do this, so just be patient. And then just sit back into child's pose. Bring your forehead down. Have your knees spread wide to the edge of the mat. 
And then bring your attention and your focus to your third eye point. And just kind of let your head just sink into the mat and just massage it. And take some deep breaths. Close your eyes. And then come back up and curl your toes under. Just stretch out the bottoms of your feet because we're not right in, unfortunately, flip-flops yet. So your feet are... I know the bottoms of my feet feel really good doing this right now. And then press the ground away and open up your upper back. And then bend your knees, bring your torso towards your thighs, press the ground away so you're up on your toes. <clears throat> and then start to let your heels come down to the mat. And your Achilles tendon might be tight. Just Stretch out. And then take your right foot and place it behind your left ankle. Just to add some more pressure to stretch out the back of the um, chin. And then switch. And then release that. Bend your knees, just come into a hover so your knees are extend your spine and look forward. And you're up on your toes, but your knees are about an inch off of the mat. So really pull the core in, just to kind of fire it up, build up some heat in the body. And then back to down dog. So we'll do that a few more times. Don't let your belly Hang out, pull it in, squeeze the pelvic floor, back up, bend the knees, look forward, and then lower the knees down, sit your hips back again, take another child's pose. over to the right, stretch into the armpit, and walk your hands over to the left. The left hand is more extended out than the right. And then walk your hands back. So let's do a dolphin. So come down onto your elbows and just check that you're shoulder width apart. And then you can release your hands flat or you can interlock your fingers, whatever feels more comfortable. So I'll do, I'll do one of each so you guys can choose, but you're gonna Watch my shoulders now, okay? So I'm not just 
dumping in. I'm gonna protract my shoulders and then curl your toes under and then lift yourself up. So your head, you're not in a headstand. Your head is above the mat. And then you can lift up the right leg. And back down. And keep pushing out of the shoulders. And back down. Bend your knees, come back down. Go up straight ahead, extend the spine. Okay, so lots of times People like to have their fingers interlocked, but you're gonna press out of the shoulders again, out of the elbows, lift up again. So you can try this out with your arms extended, fingers spread wide. And then come back down. So you choose what you prefer, what feels the best for you. And then you can release your feet. And then just start to walk your hands around to the right. So you're gonna feel a nice stretch in the left hip. And then walk your hands over to the left. And then come back to center. And just start to make some circles with your hips going from right to left at first. Just to open up the hips gently. All the time the core is engaged. So you have support for your lower back. Switch direction. And then you're going to curl your toes under and lift yourself up. And you're going to come to stand. So this is a good way to, to build up some heat in the body, but also just to really loosen up the hip flexors. So you can, there's a few ways that you can choose to do it. So you can bend your knees, feet are wide, and then just kind of rock back and forth, side to side. You're sticking your butt out behind you. Kind of like speed skating, even though you don't do that over here. <laughs> <clears throat> and then just come up onto the right toes and be on the left heel with the toes pointing up. And then just stretch out the inner thigh and the groin, loosen up the pelvis. You might be able to come down. Just that's gonna be way deeper of a stretch. The heel is elevated on the right foot. You're just up on the toes. You might want to just stretch your arms out too. All this kind of stretching actually really strengthens and purifies the spleen. So up on the left toes now, right toes face up to the ceiling and the leg is straight. So you can be up here, be supported. Or you can come down. And then 
release out of that. And we're gonna do Tukhanasana, triangle, because it's such a great stretch. So left foot is pointing forward, right foot is pointing to the right. And your heel to arch. So inhale up, kick the left hip out, slide the right hand down to wherever you can. But keep the shoulders stacked up on top of each other and pull the belly into the spine. You can bring that hand back behind you if you choose to wiggle it into wherever it fits, into the hip or the outer thigh, inner thigh, or just right behind your back just to open up the shoulder more. And then lift the hand back up again. And come out of that and pivot the feet. So kick the right hip out. Left hand slides down, right hand stacks on top. And then take that hand back behind you, wiggle it in again. And then release that and come back. If your balance is kind of off, then look down at the toe before you lift up. Okay, so archer's pose. So you're gonna go into the same thing, except it's gonna be more like Virabhadrasana, warriors. So warrior one, right knee is in a lunge. Okay, and the knee is stacked right on top of the ankle. And then you're going to extend the right hand out, make a fist, thumbs are pointing up, and thumb is pointing up on the left, make another fist, and pull back, okay? So you're going to open up your chest and open up your hip. Keep pulling back. So it might just look like I'm posing, but I'm actually really pulling back with this arm and opening up. And then face, <clears throat> face the right knee, okay? And then you're gonna interlock your fingers behind you, press them away, and bend forward into humble warrior. Your core is still active here. You push the ground away with that foot, release, and come to the other side. Don't be afraid to move your feet around to make yourself comfortable. You want your hips pointing forward. So again, left hand's extended, but your fist, you have your fist, okay? And then right hand pulls back, fist up, really open up and lunge. And you're breathing, of course. See if you can sink down a little bit further. And then release that, interlock your fingers again, bend the knee, and then you're gonna fold and lift the hands up. Then frame the foot with both hands and step back to down dog. And bend your knees. You're gonna, we're gonna do Sasangasana rabbit. Okay, so. Um, I'm 
me give you this option. You can just press pause on the video if you need to go and get a towel and fold it up over your heels. Um, just might give you more of a grip. Or you're gonna lean forward, grab on to your heels, pull yourself back. This is a excellent spine stretch. Um, it's uh, really helpful for sleep and wake cycles. Um, it opens up at the very top of the shoulders. Um, it also, because you're compressing the thighs, it reduces cellulite as well. <laughs> if you're doing it regularly, not once a month. Okay, so inhale. Pull yourself forward, bring your head, or back I should say, bring your forehead to your knees. And then you're going to inhale. Do that one after you've eaten um, a lot of food because you're pulling the belly in and you'll find that it's actually comfortable to breathe in there if you adjust your breathing to an 80 20 ratio so you're that kind of breathing okay so we'll do it again so lift up your hips grab onto your ankles your towel Pull yourself back, bring your head down, take an inhale, then look up. Great improvement there. <laughs> I like that pose. Okay, so lift back up again, stretch out your spine. And then move your right hand to the left. Step your right hand or your right foot forward. Spin that back heel. Bend the right knee. And you're going to leave the left hand in line with the right foot. Bring the hair and stretch up. And then just fold over the right leg. And then step that foot back. And step the left foot up. Spin the right heel. Leave the right hand in line with the left foot and stretch up. So left knee's bent. Right leg straight, belly pulled in, and then fold over your left leg so both legs are straight. It's okay if, if one's bending anyway, I mean, you know that. And then step back, both legs straight. And then step the right foot up, left foot on an angle. Slight angle and warrior one. 
really stretch your arms up. Open up to warrior two. Spread the collarbones wide. Reverse warrior. Warrior two. And then take the arch again and pull back. And then slide that foot back, come back into down dog. And step the left foot up, spin the back heel again. Bend the right, the left knee, sorry. Stretch up to warrior one. Palms together. Or work towards it. And then open up to warrior two. Open up across the collarbone and open up the heart. And then reverse warrior. to warrior two and then archers and then bring the foot step back to down dog again then the knees come down so you can come into Cobra or Up Dog. Bend your knees, take a child's pose. So if you bring your knees out wide and toes to touch, you can sit back towards your heels, prop yourself up on your hands, and just open up this way, okay? Or you can come down onto your elbows. Or you can come all the way down. And then bring your hands back and prop yourself up. Now, splits. So bring your arms up, look up, place the palms together, engage the core. I'm squeezing it right into my spine right now. Bring your right hand to your left knee, left hand behind you, take a twist. Toes pointing up to the ceiling. 
and then bring your arms back up and twist over to the right. Look behind you. And then just go to the side a couple times before we stretch over to the side. Loosen up the lower back. I don't know about you guys, but I can feel a bit of tightness in the back of my hips. That's because I'm not doing five hours anymore a day. Okay, so stretch your left hand up, slide your right hand down. Grab onto whatever you can. And then we come over to the left. And then come to center. So toes up. Here, just on the heels, walk your hands forward, but they're going to be shoulder width apart. Press the ground away, open up your back. So your butt's going back, pelvis is going back, but you're pushing the floor away too. And then lean forward, arch, and push back. Inhale. Exhale, push back. Inhale. Exhale. And see if maybe you might be able to, this would be more like intermediate advanced to come down onto the elbows, more intermediate. So, that only comes with constant hip opening. It doesn't, I tell, I tell people in class all the time, it really doesn't take long. If you set your mind to um, doing this every day for a few minutes, you'd be surprised how far your, your legs can come out. And then you, you can work on coming all the way down flat. And then come back up. Bring the left foot in, keep the right leg out. And then you're going to stretch over again. And then walk your hands forward. Keep the toes up all the time. Don't let them come down onto the mat. And then <clears throat> you're going to take your left hand to your right knee, take another little twist, and helping you detoxify after all the binge drinking and binge eating that's going on with lockdown, and stretch over to the left. And then come back up and then take your right hand to your left knee. Press into the left hand behind you. Inhale. Exhale, twist. See if you can go a little deeper now. And come back. So um, before I get back into it again, I want to let you guys know that I miss you and like always, I want you to tell me what you're, what you're looking for. So um, comment and tell me what, what I can improve on, what you would like more of. 
Um, I know I haven't done a Kundalini video yet, um, but I will. I'm gonna make a video every, every day. So, curl the toes under again and lift up and back. And maybe you want to lift up right leg and open up the hip, look under the right armpit. So I think we should do half moon. So if you bring your feet together, toes together and heels to touch, and lift up your hands, and you're gonna just go from side to side. Push the opposite hip out. Take your hands back, down. Widen your feet a little bit and take your left hand and grab onto right above your right elbow. And then just bring your right ear towards your right shoulder and use your right hand to pull your right shoulder down, your right arm down. And then bring your chin down to your chest. And then you're going to switch sides. So you pull, pull that left arm down and touch the ground, bend the knee so you can. If that's not accessible, grab onto your shins. Just let your head hang. You can do ragdoll as well. triangle on the floor on our back. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to lay down, bring your knees into your chest, give yourself a little bit of a hug. Sometimes it's helpful to release your, your spine by bringing your head towards your knees and then release back down. Okay, so take your hands up to the sides. Actually, left hand up. Bring the right, bring your knees over to the right at first. And then if you can, extend the, the feet and the legs out. And then use your right hand to touch 
your toes. So you can touch your knees if you if you can't touch your feet, but you're extending arms and feet at the same time. Extend the left leg forward, hug the right knee in, and bring it over to the left, and look towards your right hand. And then hug your knees back in, extend the right leg, bring the left knee over to the right, Left hand extends out, look towards your left hand. And then just lay down on your back for Savasana. So take some deep breaths, palms facing up so your shoulders externally rotate, let the feet kick out to the side so your hips can continue to release. Keep your spine nice and straight, relax all the tension in your jaw and face. And let that peacefulness and relaxation start to spread through the body. you want. When you're finished, activate all the nerve endings and, and bring your body back into yourself, into your body. So just rub your palms together and raise your feet and rub them too. And then place your hands over your So, I hope you've got something from that, and I hope your body feels good. I hope you feel some tingling sensation in your hands before we even rub them together. So, be well. Thank you for practicing with me. Subscribe to my channel and comment. Give me a thumbs up if you like it. Let me know how I can improve it. I'm always open to suggestions. Have a beautiful day and I hope to see you soon.